me Renee I'm back today I have a book haul for you and I just filmed a library haul and also at the same day I got the library books I got some books 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 that's wrong I bought some books just a few ones well I have one more one more it's not a book it's a comic book well, comic book book I suppose it is a book but yeah uh, a few yeah is that a few books to haul well, I suppose, yeah, I got some books on Friday and some books yesterday, so, yeah, a few. What's a few? I got quite a few. <laughs> I'm doing the English understatement. A few. And then there's like a hundred. It's not a hundred, but, yeah. Uh, you might be thinking, like, your background seems a bit weird. I'm gonna explain that in maybe a bit later, maybe in the next video. I'm not quite sure. But now, I'm gonna go with the book call. So, I got Untouchable by Tally Hebert. This is the Ravenswood book, number two. So, it's her indie book series that she published before the, the Brown series. Brown Sisters. Well, Brown Sisters is a good book, you could say as well. But yeah, but the Brown Sisters, she's most famous for like the uh, Get a Life, Clue Brown, Take a Hint, and Act Your Age. But that's like her series that she published uh, at a Publisher. Uh, this is a series that she published uh, uh, independent before that. So I suppose, yeah, not all, all not everyone knows about it because it doesn't have a big publisher behind it. But yeah, I read the first book in this uh, universe a few months ago now. I very much enjoyed it. And I have recommended it to Annalisa of Annalisa Eli. And she read the first book and then two seconds books. I'm like, no, you read more than me. So yeah, oh, it's a competition. But yeah, I got the second book and also another book of the series here. It's as usual with Roman series, Roman, Romans series. You don't really need to read them in order, but it's the same universe, so the characters uh, overflow. And like, if you read read book two before book one, you'll know that two characters from book two are together. But like, I suppose in romances, it's not. It's kind of quite often you have guests who get together and stuff. Well, I suppose. Depends also, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is about, if you want to know who it's about, it's about Hannah. She's a perfect nanny until something happens, and she can't be a nanny be anymore because uh, I'm just going to say issues as well. Well, it says on the back here, uh, but I'm just going to say issues because, I mean, you get what happens when you read the book. So I'm not going to spoil you. It's not a big spoiler, but yeah. Uh, and then she soon, like after, well soon, a bit of some time after this thing ha thing happens, she meets Nathaniel, who needs a nanny. Uh, and uh, so, like, uh, so sorry, she used to be a nanny at like a daycare center. She can't work in day day daycare center anymore because issues. But she can work like in private, like for Daniel with his kids. She does that and sweet music uh, ends up happening and uh, yeah then we have Prince in Disguise by Stephanie Kate Strong this is a YA romantic, romantic comedy so I read uh, Stephanie Kate Strong's books books book last year a few months ago called I think it was a few months ago I'm not sure uh, Love a la mode, which I enjoyed very much. This one uh, is about an American who has to go to Scotland and meets a prince, and stuff happens. Happens. It's been described well in the frontier. Lots of prince. It's been described as a very funny, charming, and sweet, and relatable, and just sweet. All the good stuff. And yeah, sometimes you just need a book like that. And I kind of feel like I've been very much of a romance mood this year, really. So yeah, getting more romance books, not a bad idea, really. Then we have Sweet on the Greek by Tally Hibbert, another one of her Indian um, India Polish books. This isn't in the same universe as anyone, but yeah, it's still a Tally Hibbert book. Uh, and yeah, it's... Huh. It's about, like, have, have this one kind of ordered just because of Tal Hebert. Uh, but yeah, it's about Nathaniel 
sorry, Nicholas Christo, a Greek, who meets Arya Granger. And um, so it's kind of a romance between a Greek and an English person. And uh, yeah, it's Hal Hubert. I haven't really, haven't uh, noticed the back of the like Tom Stomach so much because I know it's going to be awesome because of Tal Hubert. So yeah, though I did see someone do a review a few months ago about like they did read some Tal Hubert books and they said one of them was not that good. But like in my experience, her books are either amazing or good. And hey, if this turns out not to be good, not to be good, I've given it a go. I mean, sometimes you kind of gotta give stuff a go. And like even though like books, if everyone says like a book A is amazing and then you buy it and like you don't like it. Well, you've tried. I mean, it's not really... I mean, you should try books. I mean, of course, yeah, also, like, if everyone says a book is good, why would you not trust them? So, yeah. And then we have That Kind of Guy by Natalia Hubert. Natalia Hubert, book all. <laughs> kind of could be <laughs> sponsored by her. Uh, it's not, it's not. But yeah, uh, this is a Raven's book, book three. I actually got the whole book series now. Well, there's a small, smaller um, uh, short story in the universe, but like the main tree I have now. And yeah, and this is a uh, story romance, story romance, romance between Ray and Zach Davis. Uh, and they have a fake relationship that turned out real. And uh, yeah, uh, I love Tal Hubert, so. I'm gonna try everything by her, at least most of her stuff. I also like this Raymond Seward series, I really much enjoy. So, yeah. And, yeah, so I'd say that's it, but it's not. Because as I said, I've got, uh, and also, yeah. So say that's it, but it's not. I'll give it one moment. There, so yeah. Um, so actually, yeah, on Tuesday, Monday? No, Monday. It was actually my birthday, yay! And yeah, so that day I kind of ended up getting this. Uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. This is volume two. So yeah, uh, so I heard about Squirrel, well, I've heard about her like around the world, around the world, like I heard about her here and there. But uh, uh, Nate from the Council Geeks talked about how she, how she wanted to uh, to have uh, a Squirrel Girl TV series on like Disney Plus. And it talked about, about how Squirrel Girl is so uh, wholesome and full of great humor and heart and all that stuff. And I love that stuff. And so I thought, you know what? I want to give her a go. So yeah, um, I couldn't find, like, I found lots in the, the series, but I couldn't find volume one in the store. But I found it afterwards, so that's odd on an honest way. But yeah, this is volume two, so I'm thinking I'm loving a volume one there, but yeah, I'm kind of already kind of thinking I probably like her. Like Nate said, like how Squirrel Girl often talks villains down instead of like always kicking, she talks to the villains and makes them see logic and sense and stuff. And that, yeah, I just very much enjoy it and all that funny and spunkiness. And yeah, I think I'm very much going to enjoy her. So yeah. And then I actually have three more books. Then first, well, first. Next, we have Rotter Weird. Oh, sorry, Ruffer, Ruffer, Ruffer Weird by Andrew Caldecott. I heard about this actually from, sorry, I'm blanking now. Rosie from Rosie from Rosie Conkshot's channel. She read this, well, this is a series, this is the first in the series. She read this last year and then the other one a few months ago. And yeah, so this is set in an alternative uh, historical world where like this city in what's the US, sorry, in the UK has kind of become kind of the, what's the word again? Like kind of um, trapped, not trapped. Uh, it's kind of become like separate from like the rest of the UK. So like kind of they have uh, their own system of stuff, they kind of have their own ruling, and they kind of, it's kind of magical-esque. Uh, and yeah, so, 
And also, it also actually has, I'm going to show you, illustrations here and there. So that's quite cool. I didn't really know that before I bought it. And yeah. Also, I think it's kind of cool that, yeah, noting me, I like to check out the offer, offer about the offer and stuff. Uh, but yeah, the offer, as you see here in picture, the bit older dude. At least in my head, I often think, often think of offers as like between 50 and 40 and looking younger and yeah, like in my head, yeah, most offers, at least fantasy and fiction offers are younger-ish. This guy, I think, actually also like, I think it's like 60 or maybe 50. It doesn't say like his debut offer. It doesn't say his, um, it doesn't say his birth year. But I kind of get like a 60s vibe, like he's in the 60s from the picture. I just kind of think, kind of interesting. And yeah, he's also uh, for a long time been a um, professor at Oxford, so that's cool. So yeah, curious to get to this one. Still kind of in my non-fantasy mood, but like when I'm back in fantasy mood, I'll get it. Then we have Don't Hate the Player by Alexis Ned. So this one I actually found just randomly in the bookstore. Hadn't heard about it at all. But I saw it was, well, it was, is, uh, blurred by Casey McQuinston, the author behind Red, White, and Royal Blue. So I just thought, okay, intriguing. And like, it's a YA uh, romantic comedy set in the gaming world, which would make you a kind of question, like, would you? read a gaming book right now you, you don't game you don't really you're not into that no i'm not but i'm into nerdom and like this one seems to be just a kind of a cute fun rom-com set in the nerd world so yeah I, i'm gonna read it also it's a blue cover i love blue i love blue so so much so much so yeah and then we have The Future of Another Timeline by Annalie Newt. So this is a time travel ser well, so series book, which I love, as you might know. Uh, but yeah, um, it has lots of uh, good praise on it, like on the back. Also in the front, well here and there. I heard lots of good things about it. And like, yeah, whenever a book is about time travel, it immediately makes me you know, curious and interested. So, yeah. So that's my little widow book haul for right now. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.